Hey what is up everyone this is Abhishek and welcome back to another exciting video on this channel There are a lot of ways in which you can represent your business in front of others and one of them is by using animated slide shows These slide shows are not only visually pleasing but also provide a very professional and clean look to your business So in this video I will show you guys how you can create a professional looking business slide show animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin All right with that being said if you guys are new here please consider subscribing and make sure to turn on post notifications I upload tutorials and templates on this channel related to motion graphics video editing and some other stuff so you guys don't want to miss that out so let's jump straight into this video and get started all right so right now i'm in after effects and let's begin by creating a new composition so let's go to composition new comp and let's call this main and make sure the width and height are 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration you can go with whatever you want so let's go with 15 seconds just click on okay now we are going to create another composition so let's go to comp new comp and this one we are going to call this image and make sure the rest of the things are same just click on ok now we have both the compositions so let's quickly import our image which we want to use in this example so you can use whatever images you want i am going to use these one so let's open up the image comp and over here we can drag our image one so let's just quickly drag it into this composition so you can probably scale it down by pressing S on the keyboard. So over here we can scale the image so that it fits the entire comp. Something like this. And let's go back to the main comp. And over here we can import our image composition. Something like this. So over here you can see that we have the image composition which is nicely fitted into this main comp. Now let's add some elements to this slideshow. So in order to do that, we are going to create a new solid. So go to layer, new, solid, or you can use this script quick new, which is completely free. Link for that is in the description below. Just simply click on S and it will create a new solid layer. So over here, we are going to apply an effect called linear wipe. So under the effects panel, just search for linear wipe like this and just simply drag it on top of this layer and over here you can see that we have the linear wipe effect so in order to check out the effect we can play around with the transition completion so just if i move it over here you can see that the transition is happening so let's change the wipe angle to something like 115 or something like that and let's quickly animate it so in the beginning we want the transition to be 100 percent and i'm pressing u on the keyboard to reveal the keyframe so around one second 15 frames uh, we want the animation to happen something like 74 or 75 percent maybe something like this so if i play back here you can see that we have this really nice animation so probably we are going to change the animation by pressing selecting these keyframes then press f9 on the keyboard or you can go to keyframe assistant then easy ease then go to select the keyframes then click on this icon and you can go to the graph editor in case your graph editor is not looking like this you can simply click on this button and make sure you are in the speed value graph after that let's select the edge point and we can may probably change the graph to look something like this so over here you can see that we have this really nice animation going on so let's just quickly add some colors to it so let's select the fill layer and i'm going to change this color to white and we can probably place it below that something like this now let's quickly rename this layer so i'm going to select this then press enter to rename it so let's call this stripe one and let's press ctrl d to duplicate it and over here we are going to apply another effect so let's search for gradient ramp and just quickly drag it on top of this layer so over here you can see that we have this really nice gradient effect going on we can probably change its color to something like blue and over here we can change it to a little bit of dark blue something like this you can probably play around with the points so that you have different kind of look something like this and maybe we can lower brighten it up something like this so once you're happy with that just simply select the top layer and we can place it below the strip one so that we can offset the animation so in order to offset these animation just select both of these layers press u on the keyboard over here you can see that we have both the keyframes and let's move the pointer to this keyframe so let's select the first layer and i'm going to just simply lower down the transition completion value so something around 82 looks good so if i play back here you can see that we have this really nice animation going on 
so once you're happy with the animation you can probably play around with these values so if you want to have a little bit more colors something like this you can probably play around with these values so if you want to hide the more content over here but for this example i think this 82 value looks good so something like this right now it's looking kind of boring because it's just plain colors so we are going to add some texture to it so let's add some dotted texture in order to do that select the ellipse tool and let's draw a circle something like this we are going to change its size so let's search for size and let's change its size to something like 2 and let's apply fill effect to it so that we can see the dot like this and let's change its color to white maybe it's too small because you cannot see it so let's just quickly click on this icon so that we can see our dot over here it's too small but don't worry we are going to change it so let's add a repeater effect to it so let's go to add repeater and over here you can change the value to something like 25 so over here you can see that we have 25 dots in the x-axis and let's just quickly select the repeater then press ctrl d to duplicate it so that we have now two repeaters and in the repeater too i am going to change the transform repeater property and for the position i am going to set the x value to 0 and y value to 100 so that we have this sort of grid kind of pattern and let's just simply select the layer and i am pressing the shift and arrow keys to move the grid to something like this top corner like this and let's just quickly animate it so in order to animate it uh, you can simply press p on the keyboard and then add a keyframe and let's move to something like 10 seconds and i'm just simply holding the shift key and moving the dot to the left side so if i play back here you can see that now our dots are moving we can maybe remove the solo button so over here you can see that we have this really nice dotted texture going on so in order to make this texture appear on this layer we are going to add track mat to it so let's just quickly select the layer and i'm going to change its size so that dots are quite visible so let's change it to something like three so here you can see that we have these really nice dots going on so let's just rename it to dot and let's select the first layer which is this one this white layer and press ctrl d to duplicate it after that place it on top of this dot layer select the dot layer and set the track mat to alpha mat in case you are not able to see this alpha mat you can simply click on this icon and it will enable the alpha mat options after that you won't be able to see the dots because the color of dot is white so let's quickly change it to this really nice blue color so over here you can see that now our dots are visible and we are going to repeat the same thing but for this second layer so let's duplicate the dot by pressing ctrl d so we have this second dot layer and i'm going to select the strip number two which is this gradient one so let's press ctrl d to duplicate it and then play, place it on top of this dot two and make sure the track mat is set to alpha mat and simply disable this layer so over here we are going to again change the color since it's white so let's change it to white so if i play back here you can see that we have these white dots and over here we have blue dots maybe you can select both of these layers and place it below so that both the dots are visible something like this and over here you can see that we have this really nice dotted texture going on so let's just quickly select the dotted layer and press ctrl d to duplicate it one more time so that the dot are visible in the main comp also and let's just change its color to white so over here you can see that we have this really nice dotted texture going on maybe we can press t to lower down the opacity of this one something like this and let's just place it below all of these layers so that these are not visible something like this make sure the alpha mat is set to none and if i play back here you can see that we have this really nice dotted texture going on so let's just quickly add uh, opacity keyframe so in the beginning we want the dots to be start from zero and as the time pass we want them to appear something like this so we are pretty much done with the scene so let's add some animation to the image also so in the beginning we want the image to be scaled up so select the image press s on the keyboard let's add a keyframe and in the beginning we want the image to be quite larger something like this and as the time pass we want it to shrink down so let's select the keyframes press f9 to easy ease them then go to the graph editor and we can play around with the graph to change its look so that it looks something like this 
and maybe we can play around with the position of this keyframe so if i play back here you can see that we have this really nice animation going on you can just probably play around with the keyframe so that it looks something like this so over here you can see that we have this really nice reveal animation we can also add some animation to the position so select the image press p on the keyboard to add a keyframe for the position then press u to reveal all the keyframes so in the beginning we want the position of the image to be over to the left side something like this and then select the keyframes press f9 to ease them then you can again play with the graph so that it looks something like this so over here you can see that we have this really interesting animation going on so something like that you can probably play around with the keyframes so that it matches with the scale animation something like this maybe a little bit closer so like that and over here you can see that we have this really nice animation going on so let's select these keyframes select all the layers press u to collapse them now let's add some text element to it so in order to do that we are going to create a rectangle so simply go to the rectangle tool then you can draw a rectangular shape something like this and let's go under the rectangle one and over here you can see that we have the rectangle transform property and under here we have the skew property so let's just simply skew it up something like this you can probably zoom in and let's just paste it over here so that we can align the skew axis so i'm just holding the control key to precisely move the skew axis so over here you can see that both the axes are now aligning and let's just quickly animate it so in order to do that select the layer and make sure its anchor point is in the center then after that select the search for size parameter and let's add a keyframe for size so in the beginning we want the size to be zero so let's uncheck these properties and we only want the x value to be zero so make sure the x value is zero and y value is same then select the keyframes press f9 to ease them then you can play around with the curves something like this so over here you can see that we have this really nice animation going on and let's just quickly place it below all of these layers something like this and we can move it somewhere around here so kind of like this and let's just quickly add some text to it so in order to do that i'm going to select the text tool and let's type whatever we want so let's type design and let me just quickly uh, change its color so i'm going to apply fill effect and let's change its color to this blue color and you can use whatever font you want just make sure it's really nice and simple and let's just probably scale it up something like this and you can place the text wherever you want so let's type business and let's just quickly scale it up and let's align it over here you can play around with its position something like this and once you're happy with that we are going to select the shape layer and let's just rename it to rectangle and just simply place it place the text on top of this layer and after that we are going to select the base layer which is this rectangle then press ctrl d to duplicate it and then place it on top of this business layer and after that set its track mat to alpha mat so over here you can see that now our text will be visible only when this rectangle animation will happen so let's add some animation to the text itself so in order to do that i'm going to select the text layer then under the animate property let's add a tracking amount so over here we can play around with this tracking amount so in the beginning we want the tracking amount to be really high so let's just change its value to something like this so if i play back you can see that now our tracking amount is changing so we can play probably change the curves to look something like this and you can play around with the position so that it's quite a bit faster something like this so over here you can see that we have this really nice business text reveal animation going on so this is how you guys can create this text animation now the best thing about this part is you can duplicate it and you can place it wherever you want and let's just quickly select all these layers and i'm going to rename this to 
mask so that we can identify and this is the rectangle so select both all of these three layers and we can change its color to something like let's go with uh, orange and let's place it on top of all of these layers then press ctrl d to duplicate them then again move them top and let's change these colors to something like green so that we can distinguish between them and select the text layer and we are going to type design you can type whatever you want just simply play around with its position and let's just quickly change the text color to white and the rectangle color to this really nice blue color something like this so i can select all of these layers and i can simply move them wherever i want something like this i'm just using the arrow keys so over here you can see that we have two text so you can probably select all of these th three layers and you can duplicate them one more and let's just place them on top of each other i can select these and move them onto the top something like this like this and i can again change the text to whatever i want so motion business design you can type whatever you want this is just an example so let's just quickly select these layers and change its color to something like lavender and we can select all of these three text layers and move them to the bottom so that these are below the stripe layers something like this so over here you can see that we have this really nice business slideshow animation going on now you can probably play around with these positions so let's just align them somewhere around here and if i play back here you can see that we have this really nice business text animation going on so this is how you guys can create the slideshow animation and there's one more thing which you guys can do you can select the image layer and over here you can apply a effect called tint and let's just quickly do that and over here you can change the colors to match your profile so i can select it and change the colors to blue and some dark blue color like this then play around with the amount so that you have this overall look which matches your business something like this so this was before and now this is earlier so over here you can see that now it blends really nicely with the animation now the best thing about this thing is you can easily change the image and text so just simply go to the image and I, I can simply drag whatever image I want so let's select this one and probably scale it down something like this and you can play around with its position so if I go back here you can see that now our image has been changed and we have this really nice design going on and you can probably add some animation to the scale of the image itself so let's just place it over here and let's just animate it something like this so if i go back here you can see that we have this really nice image animation also in the background so this is how you guys can create some really nice business slideshow animations in after effects without using any third party plugin it's very easy you can play around with the text whatever you want you can change the position of the text to appear from left top bottom wherever you want so this is how you guys can create these type of animations in after effects so if you guys have any queries or question you can ask me in the comments below with that being said this is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one